I wish that we could go back and start over, keep calm, and handle this in a more reasonable way. For the longest time, one of my favorite economists and personalities was Jim Rogers. I've often joked and called him Gentleman Jim, just like the uh, boxer way back in the early 1900s. What a fantastic personality. Uh, World-renowned travel, so his experience, much the same as Martin Armstrong, comes in from all gears off the transmission. Uh, I believe right now he's living out in uh, Thailand, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, anyway, it's somewhere over out in Asia and uh, and uh, in that area of the world. Um, very adventuresome soul like myself. He's he's traveled the continents on motorcycle. That's that's quite the ordeal. Uh, but his way of looking at things and his accuracy over uh, i'm talking about uh, oh god conservatively 15 years i've been enjoying and uh, receiving some benefit from his knowledge and uh, even right now when his number one rule is don't invest in anything you don't know a lot of because everything is so crazy right now and that's some good sound advice but have a listen okay because um it's also somewhat touching but saddening that any of you who have been watching our videos for any length of time have known how many times I've said, and quote, I feel sorry for the children. And um, that, that's the thing. Um, that's the biggest thing. And it came out in this video as well. Anyway, I believe he has three children, and all of them are young. I think they're just approaching teenage years now, or early teenage years, and all three of them are fluent in Mandarin. So you see, it's uh, it's one thing being ahead of the curve. It's one thing, you know, having to react. And uh, I guess what I like about best about Jim when you watch this short video is I've always found him to be much like myself in mind, and that's proactive. Watch. The politicians are printing staggering amounts of money, spending staggering amounts of money. Every day in Japan, the Bank of Japan goes ahead, cranks up the printing presses, prints money as fast as he can. I mean, the U.S. is the largest debtor nation in the history of the world. And look what we're doing. Another few trillion. I mean, I feel sorry for everybody in the U.S. I feel sorry. My kids, young people in the U.S., Robert, I don't know how they're going to cope. In 1920, 1920, the UK was the richest, most powerful country in the world. There was no number two. And then they started doing the same thing. You know, they went nuts. And now the UK is not even in the top 20 anymore. Uh, Still there, but the standard of living compared to what the UK had then and now is dramatic different. So... I feel sorry for young people in the U.S. I feel sorry for you and me, but I certainly feel sorry for young people. A few months ago, politicians or media or somebody started overreacting, and now the whole world is closed down. Sometimes the cure is worse than the disease, and that's what seems to be happening now, if you ask me. Do not think that I'm saying it's wonderful to get, to get the, the virus. Do not say I think it's wonderful to be sick. Or, or, any, or, or to die. I'm certainly not. And I'm in the age group which would be most vulnerable. But I, I, if I ignore facts, if we all ignore facts, we're going to be in serious trouble. Asia has a less bad situation than the rest of us because they don't have the huge debts. Japan does, but bo- most Asian countries don't have the gigantic debts that the West does. Japan is now in decline. You know, the debt skyrockets every day. The population goes down. The population has been declining for 10 years. Uh, they won't have babies. They, won't, they don't like foreigners, so they won't have immigrants. It's not going to be good, but it's not just Japan. Western countries, you see what's happening in some Western countries now. Even Germany, Robert, even German cities, some of them are in trouble now. Yeah, we worry about Illinois, Germany, (laughs) Germany. You know, when I was a kid, there was nothing sounder than Germany or Switzerland. Now they're both going nuts. So do you have any words of wisdom or prophecy or encouragement or... I will say that people should not 
listen to other people. They should only invest in what they themselves know a lot about. I've been buying gold and silver again for a few months now. Uh, I own a lot of U.S. dollars. I just, I just gave you reasons that the U.S. is in trouble and getting worse. So you will probably say, why do you own U.S. dollars? It's unsound, but I own it because in times of turmoil, people look for a safe haven. And the U.S. dollar is considered, for historical reasons, a safe haven. And then you look around and not going to buy the euro or the pound or other things. So I own a lot of U.S. dollars. It's going to get overpriced. It might turn into a bubble. Uh, at which point I hope I'm smart enough to sell and put my money somewhere else. You know, looking at the world from where you see it today in the world economy, do you have any suggestions on how a person prepares for this brave new world we've just entered? What they need to do is become knowledgeable about what's going on. You must, in 2020, become knowledgeable about what's happening out there because it's very important, especially now, as Robert says, this has never happened before. Once you become knowledgeable, then you're going to say, oh, my God, then you're going to get worried. Then you're going to get extremely worried. And once you get extremely worried, then you will start to prepare and get ready. Well, there's nothing like some good common sense, uh, actual information again, and that's what I like to base my decisions on. Listen, off, off track, don't you think the reason why, and to a degree, that uh, China also invaded Hong Kong so early is because Hong Kong had no debt? See, that's the thing the West really tends to ignore. They put all their efforts on their outsides, on how they look, how they dress, they drive nice vehicles, uh, beautiful clothing, every nail's perfect, every hair in place. But they're living paycheck to paycheck. And I'm not saying all, but I am saying over 50%, and that's the facts. I think it's 42%. If there was a unexpected bill of $500 in a month, would actually break them above budget, okay? About surviving check to check. If there was a bill of $500, be it medical, be it car repair, irrelevant, it would actually bust them, okay? And I will tell you one thing. It's changing a lot, but I have spent a lot of time over in Asia, so I could say it from boots on the ground, that used to be the most humble society, I'm going back decades ago, but materialistic in the middle and upper middle and wealth, it's, yeah, it's engulfed China now too, they are not the same people they were decades ago either. All I'm saying is, uh, and he's right, except for Japan, uh, many Asian countries do not hold much debt. And that is one of the key factors why I put all personal beliefs aside and all Whatever, you know, pseudoscience you want to throw at this thing, put it all aside because everything boils down to numbers and they're not holding anywhere near the debt that Western countries are. Um, I really think a lot of my subscribers would like, if you like the mellow approach and I kind of ramble on a lot that way too in a monotone voice, he's much the same way. He only means, well, he's a wealth of knowledge, and uh, he doesn't really need to be doing this for money. He's doing this to genuinely put his best foot forward on informing humanity to what he has studied the most about, which is why he's one of the wealthiest men around. My passion was studying how economies work and everything, not necessarily gathering as much wealth as possible uh, to be reasonably comfortable but you know understanding too the last jacket you wear doesn't need pockets and it's taken a lot of stress off my life and a lot of people we've helped think that way where there is always going to be another deal don't sweat the one you lost anyway uh i hope you guys pay a little bit more attention to a good good type of information solid positive information that comes out from a guy like Jim Rogers, and it's old Barry and DR. We'll keep on posting on some different angles and some different people and trying to introduce you to a more positive way of thinking. There are definitely a lot of options. Don't get stuck in the foolishness. And until you have an army, don't play Napoleon, okay? Remember Waterloo, okay? Till next time, it's old Barry and DR. Bye.